Probably the most um, dynamic part of the whole Pulse experience regarding the chorus was waking up on Sunday morning, the, the day after the shooting, or the day of the shooting because it happened after midnight, and seeing my phone had gone crazy with text, I'd had the ringer turned off, but my chorus brothers and sisters wanted to make sure I was alive. And it's, it's surreal when, it's surreal when you spend two hours of your life checking to see if any of your friends have died. It was, the, when the Pulse shooting happened, um, our director was out of town, our associate director was out of town, our president of the chorus was out of town, our production manager was out of town. Uh, it was me as vice president and our PR guy, and he's the one that woke me up, you know, at seven and said, have you watched the news? I was like, no. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I went to the center and one of our board members was already there, and the payor guy, uh, J.D., he met us there also. And we just kind of hung out at the center until we kind of figured out what was going on. Um, and then the chorus went into hyperdrive. Mm -hmm. And once we realized there was going to be a vigil that night, I took off back home. So it was like around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I went on social media and our Chorus Connection uh, website, and put the word out in two different ways and said, hey, this is we're going at Joy MCC, come. You know, alumni, current members come. I don't know what we're singing. I don't know who's conducting. 48 people showed up. It was great. It was amazing. And we sat there and figured out who could conduct. Um, what We didn't have a pianist, so we basically picked the two songs because we knew we could do a cappella. And that's how True Colors and You'll Never Walk Alone became the songs we kept doing. So it's, but you know, those two songs, uh, True Colors and You'll Never Walk Alone, for us, for the rest of our lives, that will always be pulsed. But that very first night that shooting happened, it's, it's, we got calls and these people stood up and they became the ambassadors of, of healing, uh, the, the ambassadors of hope and the ambassadors of love. And I told them that, and I told them those words because it was important that they know what their role in this is. And I'm not saying that it was their job to step up and do it, um, but through the music, they wanted to make a difference. And what better way to make a difference and to show people that, hey, we care about you. Um, and not only just the, the, the gay and lesbian, transgender, questioning, those types of folks, uh, everybody. Our chorus has always been very involved in the community. And fortunately, slash unfortunately, since the Pulse incident, we found a lot more opportunities to come out into the community and let people know what our mission's all about. Um, doing outreaches um, whenever they were asked for to heal the community with music. Nonstop for two weeks. The chorus members were keeping their uniforms in their car for breeze, you know. And Whatever, because I would put sometimes not find out two or three o'clock in the afternoon that a hey, so and so wants us to sing at this vigil at this memorial, whatever, and I put the word out, and I'd get there, and it would be like the client would go, "How many people do you expect?" I'd go, I don't know. What are you gonna sing? Don't know that either. I'll let you know when everybody shows up. And the chorus was so resilient and so um, I don't know, willing that those logistical details became very secondary to are you going to be able to be there can you be at this event because we are going to sing we are going to sing and i taught them to be a musician and so i taught them that no matter what happens in the world you will always have a home here and you have to 
to put your heart right where it is right now, whether it's the song we're singing, whether it's a warm-up or a big old classical masterpiece, whatever, their heart needs to be right here. And if their heart is right there in the music, then all the darkness in the world kind of sometimes just dies away a little bit. Music is supposed to bring people together. It's not supposed to drive people apart. And we have very successfully used that as a tool to make that happen. Um, and you see it firsthand on where I stand as the director standing up in front of people, whether it's students or adults alike. I, can, I see the music, and I see the music not only being performed, but it goes in and it touches their hearts, it touches their minds, and it, their, their passion for singing touches not everyone who hears them. So every audience member, whether it's on the TV because of a horrible tragedy, or if it's promoting an upcoming concert, their passion, which I hope springs somewhat from my passion of music, um, is shared throughout the community and the world and anyone who hears them performing. This is our gift. Back to the city. Back to the community and to all of those victims that were killed that night. It's never been just about the gay community. Sure, the gay community has been our home, and it's been where our membership come from, and it's been the core of our fan base, but we've always been there for the entire community. I think the biggest thing that I've seen in this experience is the, the shift in response from the public. Um, we're, we're pretty much doing the same thing we used to do in outreaches, you know, a year ago as far as what sort of songs and how, you know, how they're shared. But the audiences are touched in a different way. And the respect and admiration that they give back to us is amazing. This, this community, ever since Pulse, um, uh, I have a friend, uh, well, it was my, my boyfriend's mother, and she's like, do you feel safe here? Like, you just had this huge, the, the worst shooting in history and, and a public shooting. And the, the answer is yes, uh, I do feel safe here. Um, that one person's not going to ruin this. So it's another shooting in history that something needs to happen. But the, the answer was I do feel safe here because the immediately following the shooting and for the next several months, even to today, it wasn't people in Florida, it wasn't people throughout the United States, it was people throughout the world that stepped up and said, we are Orlando strong, we are Orlando united. And I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it because the whole world stood up just as when something, a other tragedy, 9-11 happened, the whole world stood up to support the United States. And when we saw the world send just a letter saying, we are Orlando strong, we're with you, we love you, stay strong. And when, when people from all over the world sent a few dollars just so we can have the rights to sing our songs for someone's funeral service, it, was, it really showed me that I am safe here, and that everybody's safe here, and that love will always win. Um, I have a saying that always at the end of my emails, and I always share, share this with all my students in class, um, as the world teaches one to be an individual, music teaches a world of individuals to be one. And I truly believe that, and this chorus is just an amazing group of people who make that happen every single day.